We as humans often cannot see the big picture. Our world is our own, nothing more and nothing less. Of course, that is not true. The world expands so much further than our own lives, than our homes, even than our planet. From the satellites and the exploration just outside our planet to revelations coming from way across distant galaxies, there is plenty for us to explore beyond what each of us may consider our own worlds to be. Luckily for us, we live in an age of ever-growing technology, facilitating new inventions, new methods and techniques, and sometimes just a better perspective. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent space discoveries made in the last couple of decades. NASA beamed a holographic doctor to the International Space Station. Films have long been predicting what the next great advancements and inventions will be, from hoverboards and flying cars to visits into faraway galaxies. One trope that the big screen loves to put into our futures are hologram phone calls. We will someday be ringing up our friends and families and see a three-dimensional version of them pop out of our wristwatches, a classic in science fiction and spy movies alike. So what if I told you this technology is being used by NASA scientists? In reality, astronauts on the International Space Station are not exactly decked out with hologram watches, but the team has had doctors visit through what is dubbed holoportation, giving medical advice and support to astronauts up in space. In 2021, a team of doctors were holoported into the International Space Station via the Microsoft HoloLens Connect camera and a little extra custom-made software. This revolutionary technology let astronaut Thomas Pesquet have a two-way conversation with a hologram, live three-dimensional images of the NASA flight surgeon Dr. Joseph Schmidt and Fernando de la Mena Laca, the CEO of the software provider EXA Aerospace. This call, in which the astronaut could see the medical professional, took place from up in space, in the middle of the space station itself. This is truly an impressive feat. The ISS orbits at 420 kilometers above the Earth and travels at a speed of around 28,000 kilometers per hour. This means the space station completes an orbit of Earth every hour and a half, meaning the crew on board see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every single day. Holoportation lets three-dimensional models of people be sent live to anywhere in real time. It is essentially like a 3D video call, where you see a figure of the person instead of their face on a screen. The user can wear what is called a mixed reality headset, for example the HoloLens, letting the person see, hear and interact with the caller remotely, but in a way ever so similar to if they were really in front of you in the very same space. While this technology may sound wildly futuristic, we have actually had this tech since 2016. This 2021 interaction is the furthest, most remote location that this technology has been adapted to, reaching all the way to outer space. Being able to reach the ISS at any time from anywhere is only the first stage in the plan. NASA's next plans to implement features allow the holoportation to be two-way. This means that not only will the astronauts be able to see the doctors here on Earth, but that the doctors here on Earth will also be able to see the astronauts, projected in 3D. The team plans on achieving this by mixing holoportation with augmented reality and haptics, meaning astronauts may be able to work on equipment and work collaboratively with us humans down here on Earth, almost as if we were actually side by side. NASA has said that this technology is not limited to space, any sort of extreme or distant environments here on Earth could be accessed through holoportation technology, opening up accessibility to Antarctica, offshore oil rigs or even, in future, further deep space missions. First Detection of Sugars in Meteorites Our world is essentially made of a number of building blocks. Elements and compounds important to life, important to environments, and important to developing worlds as we can recognize them today. In 2019, a new compound key to forming life was found within a meteorite. A team of international researchers uncovered sugars that are necessary in sustaining life inside of a meteorite. This has added some evidence to the existing theory that the chemical reactions that take place inside of asteroids can help to form some biologically important compounds crucial to life as we know it. 
An asteroid is oftentimes the ancestor of meteorites, being their parent body. This means that if that theory is in fact true, then the meteorites showering ancient Earth so often may be a key element to the origin of life on Earth that we have been missing. The research team uncovered ribos, arabinos, xylose, and several other biologically essential sugars. These compounds were spread over two different meteorites, both rich in carbon. It's worth noting that these do have specific biological functions and roles. Ribose is a necessary component of RNA, ribonucleic acid. RNA functions as a messenger molecule, meaning that it copies the genetic instructions from the DNA before transferring the information to the relevant ribosomes. This sounds incredibly complex, but the key takeaway from this is that the sugars found serve a biological purpose, fueling the theory that important elements that help to form life could come from inside these meteorites and asteroids. This is not the first time that important building blocks that help to form life have been seen within meteorites, hence the theory already having a good amount of weight behind it. Before this 2019 study, researchers had already found amino acids, which form proteins and nucleobases, which form DNA and RNA. Yoshihiro Furukawa, a researcher at Tohoku University in Japan and the lead author of the study, published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, explained that the sugars had been a big piece of the puzzle that was missing, limiting how convincing this theory was in the past. When commenting on the significance of this finding, he said, The research provides the first direct evidence of ribose in space and the delivery of the sugar to Earth. The extraterrestrial sugar might have contributed to the formation of RNA on the prebiotic Earth, which possibly led to the origin of life. In terms of conducting this research, it's an impressive achievement that a fragile molecule such as ribose could even still be detected and found within ancient materials. Now, this knowledge can be applied as further samples undergo their analysis. A much less thrilling explanation is that these compounds arrived in the meteorites after their arrival on Earth. It goes without saying that there is plenty of life here on Earth. So there is the possibility that these meteorites became contaminated with terrestrial compounds after their arrival. The next steps here are to analyze a greater number of meteorites to try and observe the extraterrestrial sugars and gauge their abundance. This work is far from completion, though the prospect that the necessary components for life came to Earth from elsewhere does leave the possibility that those same building blocks arrived on other planets as well. Infant Stars Discovered Near Galaxy the Hubble Space Telescope has been a key part of our scientific history, development and future since its launch back in April 1990. It has lived twice as long now as its initial life expectancy of 15 years and has been providing incredible breakthroughs. Back in 2005, the Hubble astronomers captured for the first time in history several stars in the early stages of their life cycle in the satellite galaxy to the Milky Way namely a smaller galaxy that orbits and is bound to the main galaxy. The Milky Way has a number of these satellite galaxies, with the one in question being the SMC, or the Small Magellanic Cloud. The precision and sharpness provided in the resolution of the Hubble meant that areas of the night sky that had been looked at countless times held features that went entirely unnoticed. It was only with this impressive telescope that we were able to discover something new. When they were discovered, these infant stars were still forming and had not yet been ignited with their hydrogen fuel, which is what helps a star sustain the nuclear fusion process. The birth of stars comes from the gravitational collapse of gas clouds. These stars were tucked into a nebula, NGC 346, with the smallest of these stars clocking in at only half the mass of our Sun. Now, alongside the Hubble Space Telescope, we have the James Webb Space Telescope, which is well on its way to marking its own path, proving itself to be as revolutionary as the Hubble. There is so much out there left for us to explore, whether that is exploring theories and concepts, ideas and innovations, or places and objects. Yet we cannot wait to see what is uncovered next. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.